Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at an optional extension for our activity 2.1, Keep Me in the Loop. And that optional extension is being able to adjust the tracing line that follows behind our school bus. In order to change this tracing line or adjust it, what we need to look at is that move forward procedure and how that red line is actually centered behind the bus at all times. Now something to keep in mind, when this line is being drawn, it's referring to the coordinates of a local variable that we're gonna look at, as well as the coordinates from our school bus. The coordinates that it's pulling is from the upper left-hand corner of that image sprite. So as you can see in that original program, that red line is starting in the upper left-hand corner and being traced down. In the corrected program for what we are trying to achieve for this actual activity or part of the activity is we want that red line to start in the center and back of the bus and follow as it goes from the school to the museum. So in order to do this, we're just going to be looking at that move forward procedure and manipulating a little bit of those variables. So if we take a look at our MIT App Inventor, one thing you'll notice is that I've gone ahead and added a test button down at the bottom. This is not necessary for this actual app, but it's a good way for me to be able to demonstrate how this actually works. So if we go ahead and hit the test button, what we'll see on our actual device is that that red line is going to basically follow the upper left hand corner of that bus. What we want to be able to do is move that line over. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and focus on the X axis. So one of the things we want to look at is we're going to be pulling our X and Y coordinates from our school bus. So as you can see that our X is set to 263, where our Y is set to 248. The line is going to be referring to that X and Y axis when it starts and ends the line. We need to add a few numbers to each of those coordinates in order for us to manipulate or move that line either horizontally or vertically on our actual design. So taking a look at our block view, what we're gonna go ahead and navigate to is that move forward procedure. And what we're gonna notice with this move forward procedure is that we've created two local variables. And both of those local variables are basically your initial line X. So it's basically where our coordinates are going to pull from. So as you see, we are basically creating a starting point called line initial x and we're setting that to the school bus's x coordinate we're doing the same thing with our y coordinate or line initial y and we are basically connecting that to our school bus y coordinate what we need to look at for this is the bottom portion of this code where we are actually drawing the line at this point what we are actually doing is basically starting our line and ending our line in that upper left hand corner of that image sprite or school bus. So for right now, all we're gonna look at is the starting and ending point for our actual X coordinate. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at our X1, which is our line initial X, and our X2, which is our school bus X. We wanna move that line in a horizontal fashion on the X coordinate. So we're gonna to need to move it to the right, which means we're gonna to need to add some numbers to that 263. So in order to do that, all we really need to do is to grab a math block. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and take that line, initial X, and we're gonna add some numbers to it. So let's go ahead and add the number 10 to start. Now this is gonna be your starting and ending point. So again, if we don't wanna have a slanted line, we need to make sure that we adjust that for both the X1 and X2 blocks. So I'm going to grab another plus sign. I'm going to drop that school bus X into it. And then we're going to go ahead and add another number 10. Now, if we go ahead and reset our app, what we should see now is when we go ahead and click that test button, we should see that that line has shifted to the right a little bit. And actually you can see right there that we kind of hit that right, right where we need it to. It's right in the center of the school bus, but we still need to now manipulate those Y coordinates. 
So in order to do that, we need to move our coordinates down on the screen, which means we are still going to be adding numbers to our original coordinates. So just as we've done before, we're going to go ahead and grab a math block. We'll grab the plus sign and we're going to go ahead and add to our initial Y. And for this one, let's go ahead and try 20. And we'll do the same thing here for our school bus Y on our Y2. And let's go ahead and reset our app and we'll be able to see where that puts our Y coordinates. So again, if we go ahead and reset and now we go ahead and test, what you'll notice is that that is directly behind the school bus and towards the bottom or back of the school bus as well. So now let's go ahead and reset that and I'm going to go back and hit my start button now and let's see what that actually looks like when we hit start and run that route one that we did before. Now as you can see right now as we get to the actual museum that red line is still shifting down a little bit especially if you look right along where that museum is or where our school bus ends. So we may need to go back and adjust that line initial Y a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and let's cut that down again to 10 and we can go ahead and reset our app and we'll try it again. And now you'll see that we have a little bit of a better um, placement of that. I'd like to make that just a little bit closer to the center. So I think I'm going to go ahead and change my initial Y to 11 and we'll go ahead and test that one more time. And there you go. That's pretty much as close as you're going to get that to be right in the center. So one other thing you can do with this uh, to challenge yourself a little bit more is to go ahead and try adding all three bus routes to your app.